We were talking about characters like Miles Morales, who is clearly leading the charge. And this right here is the very first Hot 10 list where he is not at number one. Yeah, man, this is the first time since we've been doing this top 10 list that Ultimate Fallout 4 is not number one. And I kind of like the book that knocked it out of his place, but we'll get to that. But yeah, Ultimate Fallout 4, number two on the list. Still good, still one of the hottest books in the market right now. Let's talk about what it's doing. We're talking about Ultimate Fallout, issue number four, at number two, the Bagley cover. The cover that was distributed in Polybag because I believe this comic book has officially hit its height because comic books are starting to retreat in price. So let's take a look at the numbers. So we'll start them off with the high sales. 9.8s have dipped, but not much. I mean, this is a book that's selling very aggressively. Still number two on the list. $1,200 was their previous average, and we are here to report an average of $1,000 for a 9.8. Now, raws have really taken a hit. Remember, we were seeing that book push up above 400 bucks at one point. We thought it would probably hit around 500. It's back down to $350 raw. Now, the Dejevic variant, we're still seeing that book, you know, price at high levels. You know, we were reporting back last week that we were seeing $9,000 sales of that book. We're seeing a 9.6 of the Dejevic variant hit a staggering $4,500 this week. So right, right there, that's matching the all-time record. But we are starting to see a movement, and that's why we got to replace the number one on this list with a Copper Age goodie. Yeah, man, we're talking about Turtle Power Baby, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number one. We're talking about first prints, second prints, all around. This book is super hot, and let's look into what's going on. First of all, a CGC 8.5 sold for $15,500 back in August, which is up from the previous sale of $9,700. That book hit $16,177 this week, smashing that record followed by an 8.0 sale, which sold for $10,000. Now, what happens when we start pricing ourselves out of that first print? Collectors start going for the second print, and we have huge gains here as well. A CGC 3.0 for the second print used to sell for about $335. We have sales in the $1,300 range now. What's even crazier is we have raw sales for $4,000, which is smashing the all-time record for a 9.6. Somebody must have thought that thing looks super clean and has 9.8 potential. Guys, we're doing this video every week, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Tom, what do you think about TMNT? You know I love me some TMNT, Jim. I got Shredder and the Turtles tattooed on me for a reason, and I was freaking out out when i saw the printer's proof sell at the comics link auction just over this last couple weeks after 77 bids we saw what was honestly something that was a myth something that people didn't even think was real but kevin eastman the co-creator authenticated this printer's proof copy saying that this is actually the first time that they were in a position where they had to review the comic book and they were given a copy prior to it hitting the printer to okay it, to say, yes, print us our 3,000 plus copies of this issue. And that book went for $12,472. That's almost like one of those Stanley file copies. 